Express your individuality with Cambridge Express. Are you looking for a unique roofing material? Then choose one that can stand the torture tests of time and weather and is extremely fast and easy to apply. The clue is in the name, Cambridge Express. It's now incredibly quick to fit a double-layered special shingle with a dimensional wood-shaped look that comes in lots of natural colours and tones. Cambridge Express is the most efficient laminated shingle in the world. Why? It's larger than the others, which means it covers more than comparable shingles. And because it's bigger, it's that much quicker to fit. With a first-class result, Homeowners agree it's the ideal shingle in terms of water shedding and weather resistance. Cambridge Express is state-of-the-art roof covering with a very special optimised double layer nailing area known as the Cambridge Express Lane that's 3.5 centimetres wide for easier and faster nailing and even better shingle performance. This laminated shingle combines high flexibility and architectural freedom with unparalleled durability. This video shows roofers how to apply Cambridge Express shingles simply and efficiently. You can of course also download a detailed manual guide from the ICO website. A hip roof has four sloping planes with no gables. A gable roof has sloping planes of the same pitch on each side of the ridge with a gable at each end. An eave is the horizontal lower edge of a pitched roof. A ridge is the uppermost horizontal external angle formed by the intersection of two sloping roof planes. A rake is the inclined edge of a pitched roof over a wall. A valley is the internal angle formed by the intersection of two sloping roof planes. A hip is the inclined external angle formed by the intersection of two sloping roof planes and runs from the ridge to the eaves. Before you start, make sure you have the necessary tools a shingles hatchet, a claw hammer or a nail gun, a knife with a hooked blade, a tape measure or fold meter, a pencil, a pry bar, a chalk line and a cement dispenser. And for even faster operation, a compressor with nail gun, a circular saw and metal snips. Remember, safety first. You must wear strong shoes or boots, knee pads, a safety harness and use a safe ladder system. One bundle of Cambridge Express is enough to cover approximately 3.1 square meters of roof surface. For the ridges and starter row, you need three tab shingles in matching colors. With one bundle of Superglass three tab shingles, you can cover nine linear meters of ridge, and in case of double ridging, five linear meters, or 21 linear meters of starter strip. To secure the shingles, you'll use approximately 28 to 42 nails per square metre, depending on the roof slope. The nails are ideally 2.5 centimetres in length, but for a re-roofing job, such as the one featured in this video, you need nails 3 to 3.5 centimetres long. One tube of Ico Shingle Stick Cold Glue covers approximately 17 square metres. One roll of Ico Underlay Armour Base Pro covers 27 square metres of roof surface and is recommended by Ico to ventilate your roof deck to avoid moisture condensation. One roll of Armour Valley covers 7 square metres of valley and should be applied to protect the valley from water infiltration.
One roll of Ico Armor Vent Multi Plus covers 6 meters and ventilates a surface of 100 to 200 square meters, depending on the roof slope. With Cambridge Express, you can actually lay shingles over the existing ones, provided that the underdeck is still in good condition. If not, it's best to strip away the old roofing down to the deck structure. In any case, the existing hips and ridge cappings must always be removed. Replace where necessary and clean the roof deck until it feels smooth and dry. Any irregularities may show up later, so careful preparation will guarantee a good end result. This shingle over shingle technique is called re-roofing with a bridging or nesting technique. The roof deck structure for a shingle roof is made of wood, multiplex or OSB boards at least 15 millimeters thick. The actual thickness depends on the span between the beams and varies according to local building codes. The most common span is between 60 and 90 centimeters. Drip edge strips are available from several manufacturers and guarantee better weather resistance for the roof's edges and underside. To protect the drip edges, secure corrosion resistant flashings to the rake and the eave. Secure the ICO underlay parallel to the lowest drip edge with a minimum overlap of 10 centimeters. Use a 50 centimeter overlap for a 15 to 20 degree roof slope. If you work on low slope roofs, you need a double overlap of Armour Base Pro. At the bottom edge, the ICO underlay must be fastened and glued over the E flashing. But on the rakes, it should just slide under the side flashing to ensure efficient drainage. Chalk lines create visual guidelines during application. To snap chalk lines, measure the appropriate distance on the roof and mark it at each end and in the middle. Hold the chalk line tight, stretch it between the marks and pull. Check the alignment at the middle mark and then snap the line. Before opening, bend the bundles of Cambridge Express shingles to separate them. There's no need to remove the non-stick foil on the back. The adhesive strips on the back of the shingles become active in warm weather and will stick easily. When it's cold, however, we recommend applying a little Ico shingle stick. When the ICO underlay is ready, you can start placing the Cambridge Express shingle. First, cut the starter row from a rectangular superglass shingle. Cut through the shingle lengthways at the tab cutouts and across the shingle's full length. Apply this starter strip with a 6 to 10 mm overhang from the drip edge and nail it down. Always hit the nail straight into the shingle surface until the head presses on it, but not into it. Make sure the nail doesn't damage the shingle surface. Note that with a roof slope of over 60 degrees or in high wind areas, you need to use extra nails and hand sealing with Ico shingle stick. Never install Cambridge Express on slopes with an angle less than 15 degrees. Start by placing a full Cambridge Express shingle parallel to the starter row at the bottom edge. Shingles are always placed in stretcher bond.
cut off 25 centimeters from one side of the shingle in the second row. Then cut 50 centimeters off for the third row. For the fourth row, cut off 75 centimeters. Put some extra Ico shingle stick glue on the shingles to provide additional protection against wind and rain. Now, continue with complete Cambridge Express shingles. Cambridge Express has an optimised double layer nailing area known as the Cambridge Express Lane for better shingle performance. You can't go wrong. Instead of nailing a longer line, you can nail wherever you like in the 3.5 cm wide Cambridge Express Lane. This makes nailing much easier and faster with no loss of accuracy. Cambridge Express shingles can be applied even faster with a nail gun. Cover the valleys with 1 meter wide Ico Armour Base Pro. The end laps of the roof plane underlay must overlap the valley by 15 centimeters. Finish by applying the Ico Armour Valley membrane on top of the underlay in the valleys. Nail at 45 centimeter intervals 2.5 cm from the edge. Snap a chalk line on the roof area, 8 cm from valley centre line. Start applying shingles on the roof surface with the lowest slope or largest roof area. Do not nail within 15 centimeters of the valley center line. Cut a five centimeter triangle off the top corner to direct water into the valley. Glue the valley end of each shingle with Ico shingle stick and nail the shingles 5 cm back from the chalk line. Prepare the roof deck for installing the Armour Vent Multi Plus ventilation. Measure 20 cm at each end of the ridge this minimum distance must be left uncut. Cut a 5 cm slot along the ridge, 2.5 cm on each side. For centre beam roofs, a 9 cm slot should be cut, 4.5 cm on each side of the ridge. Once the slot is cut and any overlapping shingles covering the ridge are trimmed and removed, the ridge is ready for vent installation. Roll out and place the Ico Armour Vent Multi Plus along the entire length of the slot, also covering the 20 cm uncut ridge at both ends. Secure at the lead edge. Pull the vent tight 
and secure at about 3 meters. To install the end caps, pull apart a pre-cut section of the foam end cap found within the Ico Armor Vent MultiPlus roll. Use Ico Shingle Stick to coat both sides of the moisture barrier membrane between the foam end cap and the vent underside for a tight seal. Attach the vent in the corners to the roof and nail the Armor Vent MultiPlus and the end caps to the roof deck. Drive two nails through the vent and foam end cap. The next step is to apply Ico Shingle Stick between the Armour Vent Multi and the Cambridge Express. This sealant should fill any voids between the bottom of the vent and the surface of the shingle. The nail should penetrate the wood roof deck to a depth of at least 1.5 centimetres. In order to cover the ridge and hit rafter, cut sections from rectangular superglass three-tab shingles. Bend three shingles together to prevent any cracks. In extreme cold, you should preheat these shingles. Always start on the side of the prevailing winds and for the hip at the bottom of the roof. Always make sure that the Cambridge Express shingles are sufficiently covered on both sides of the roof so that no nails are left visible. Secure them 40 cm from the tab side and 2.5 cm from the edge. Your roof has now been protected against all kinds of weather. First step is to slide a shingle under the lower part of the chimney flashing, also known as the front part, and glue the shingle with Ico Shingle Stick. Then continue with shingles on the sides covering the old roof. The connections must always be cemented to protect against water infiltration. Never nail through the existing flashing. First give the roof a final clean. Remove any loose shingles, cuttings, nails, wooden boards or other debris that's been left lying on the roof. Inspect all areas on which bituminous mastic has been used to ensure that the materials have adhered properly and that there are no bubbles in the roofing. Check for proper fastening. Examine the entire roof area for overall appearance and any defects that might have been overlooked at closer range, including chimney flashings, hip and ridge shingles, ventilation, vent pipe, sidewall flashings, overhangs. Thanks to Cambridge Express, you have created a brand new, beautiful, highly durable roof in super fast time. Why not send in your project photos to support at ico.be so we can feature them on our site to show others your handiwork. Our ICO Experience Centre in Slovakia organises shingle roof training sessions for roofers. Contact us now if you want to learn more. Thanks for watching.